Hey there, Aries. Welcome. Okay, so this is your May 2024 reading. I'm doing the house for that everybody likes. I love it too. Let's see what's going on for you. So, let's see about the front door. What is coming into your life? What is entering your life now? We have here the Two of Cups. A love connection, a business partnership, some kind of partnership. I love this card. Look how these two are reaching for their cups and they end up touching. And that's how they meet. <laughs> So let's see, you might be meeting someone new or someone's coming to your front door. And like, ooh la la. <laughs> let's see, we have here the Six of Cups. Okay, is someone that maybe you already know. Is someone from the past. It could be a friend coming to visit you. It could be a romantic partner. It could be someone that you might do business with. But it, um, it also could be that someone that you haven't met yet, but you did have a past life with. That could be too. And you might be meeting them now in this lifetime. And we have here the castle alignment. Yes, yeah, so this definitely could be that someone's coming to your house. There's something about the castle here. A connection. I would say... Well, the castle definitely refers to the house. So, I would say someone probably is coming to your house. They're, they might feel familiar or... There's something about the house, the home. Okay, let's move on to the kitchen and see what's cooking in your kitchen. We have here the Eight of Pentacles. You're working on something. You might be collaborating with someone or, or you're working on something or someone wants to work on something with you. Let's see. We have the Eight of Swords, but you might be mentally conflicted about this or stuck in your head about working with someone or working on something. Okay. And we have the Horse. This is about maybe whether or not you should take action. So you're not sure if you want to take action on something. Does it have something... that? horse is like the horse to me is like the chair something moves very quickly so it's like freedom is victory is stamina is power possibilities it's speed of power it's thought of action especially with the a of swords someone might be doing a lot of thinking about something here about whether or not to take action and it has something to do with working with someone working on something hmm the stamina the wild the untamed the freedom the um fast moving the victory Yeah, so trying to figure out, someone's mentally conflicted about working on something or moving forward with something. So I think you'll know what that means if it's for you. Okay, now the living room. What are you currently living with? We have the Six of Swords. Oh, you're thinking of moving maybe? Relocating? Moving on? Moving on to something better? You might not like where you're living right now? Let's see about this. We have here the Eight of Pentacles. Look at these eights coming up for you. Yeah, there's something about work. You might be thinking of leaving where you work, or maybe you're working from home. But this is something you're living with. Or maybe you don't want to work with whoever you're living with. You want to move on from that connection. Okay, let's see. We have the tree here. So this is something deep-rooted. We have the tree. We have root. This is something that's grounded, but the also it might be... Is, do you feel a strong connection where you're living to a connection to being grounded plus also being connected spiritually? Maybe you don't feel that connection where you're at right now or who you're living with or what you're living with. You, I, yeah, it feels like you might want to change something here. Okay, let's go over to the office and let's look at your work your um, career your work your career your business your money let's see we have here the four of source yeah you're trying to heal something here as far as something as far as your career your business or your work so let's see what that's all about and we have here the three of cups a celebration maybe you are healing something you're celebrating something here invitation and we have here the Sphinx. Okay, this is ancient wisdom. This is something that goes way back, or this is protection, power. Um, 
what are you working on? It feels like something ancient here. Something going way back. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> You know, the, the Sphinx is connected to all this, like why fire, water, earth, air. It's all connected here. So there's something about a connection. Okay, now I'm going to throw some cards on this because I'm not really getting too much on this. Some ancient wisdom. and Okay, why do we have these cards here? Why do we have the Four of Swords, the Healing card, the Three, a, 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 three of Cups, and the Sphinx? We have here. The A of Swords. Someone is definitely thinking. Got a lot of A's. Thinking about something. In your head about something about working. And the Page of Wands. You might have got some kind of message. Some kind of communication. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it's about the Ace of Cups. Is this someone that you're connected to in your work? That you have a love connection with maybe? But on the deck here. We have the Queen of Wands. So this could definitely could be you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or there's someone that you're very attracted to here. Let's see. You get something on the page. I want someone's trying to get a message to you. Something I think someone is connected with someone at work. Okay, something about music. You could be in the music industry or something about music here. Okay. Do the words on this page of wands. We have okay, something happened here. A tower. Surprise. Something changed. Before blank spying. So something happened before and someone might be watching you, spying you. Maybe you feel like you're getting watched at work and it's bothering you. There might be someone interested in you or you might be interested in someone. I don't know why I don't feel like the feeling is mutual though. Maybe that's why someone's in their head. Either someone's really into you or you're really into them, but I don't feel like it's mutual. But someone's watching someone. I'm not going to do anything on that until I finish all the decks here. Okay. So let's go on to the bedroom. See if we can find out something. What's going on in the romantic life? The bedroom. Six of Pentacles. Balancing things out. Working things out. Okay. Even give and take here. And a connection. Okay. Let's see what else we have. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Someone could be protecting something here. Or you could also be setting up boundaries. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm saying Nine of Pentacles. I'm looking at it as a Nine of Wands. Nine of Pentacles is an independent energy. This, um, you could be doing something on your own here. A very, maybe you're single, but you're, almost feels like, I don't know, I'm feeling here that someone's single, but you might have like a, maybe there's a friend with benefits type of energy. That's not going to be for everyone. Or someone wants to be single and someone wants to have it even give and take. We have here, the moon influences this. Why did this energy almost feels like it's being, there's something hidden. There might be a hidden romance here. Someone might be single, but they might be sharing their bed with someone is what I'm getting here. Um, and this person might be hiding this. So this might be someone that's involved with someone else. Oh, this is too complicated. Someone's hiding their emotions, their secrets, or there's intuition here. Yeah, but Nine of Pentacles is, or someone's doing quite well financially, but why are we taking that in the bedroom? Hmm, okay. I'm going to leave that there. Well, let's go on to the spare bedroom. What's going on there? Let's see what's happening in the spare bedroom. We have the Nine of Swords. Someone's stressing, worry, not being able to sleep, a lot of anxiety. And we have the Page of Wands. There is a message coming towards you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone wants to talk to me because they're stressing out about something. They want commitment. It almost feels like I'm getting someone's energy where they like someone and that person don't like them. But there's a person that likes that person, but that but you don't like them or whatever. There's okay. There's a revelation here. Clouds. Something might become being uncovered here. <clears throat> okay. Get the words on the page of wands. <clears throat> Someone wants to talk. I can't get scratchy voice. We have here. Soulmate. Committed. Hidden. See, the, keep on getting the hidden energy with clouds. We have hidden. Honest. Past life. Okay. Someone feels like there's a very strong past life connection here. But for some reason, this can't come together. Page of Wands, the hidden, the clouds. Yeah. Someone might be already committed to someone else and they can't 
break free, but there is a strong connection, a strong desire here to be together. Whew, complicated reading. <clears throat> okay, now let's go on to what's hidden in the attic. Is there anything else hidden? Um, I hope not. Let's see what's hidden in the attic. There's like a lot of hidden stuff here. We have here the Eight of Cups. Someone might be considering walking away from a connection, a relationship. Got a lot of eights. Eights is prosperity, too. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's thinking of walking away from either money or a commitment, or maybe it's both. Ice. Stagnation because there's stagnation. Someone needs to move on because it's stagnant. There's nothing there. Yeah, I don't know. There's there's just like you know, ice melts though. But there's something maybe someone's maybe someone's in a relationship where ice could also mean someone's being cold. But the stagnation is like they're yeah, rigid, um stagnant. There's no flow. There's no movement. There's um, there's blocks. There's um, repressed feelings or um, isolation, loneliness. Yeah, so someone might be in a connection, in a relationship, a commitment that there's there's nothing there. There's no love or there's no emotion. There's, there's stagnant. So they want to move on from it. <clears throat> Take it with red seat. Leave it doesn't. It's a possible outcome here. We have here the chariot. Something moving quickly here. Cancer energy. What we don't see coming is the four of cups. There's an offer coming. Someone's not sure if someone will take it. Someone might take taking too long to make the offer. So now someone's not sure if, if they'll actually accept it. Okay. And we have here the chariot again. Wow. Someone's coming in real quick towards you. And we have the five wands. It might be competition or there might be arguments over this. Or, you know, there might be other people not happy about this. And we have here the blindfold. So this is something unseen though. Okay, on the bottom of the deck here we have the bench. So this is access. Someone is... Whew. So we have the blindfold and the bench. Interesting. The blindfold is blind faith. Someone might be coming towards you quickly, hoping, not knowing what's going to happen. Because here they, we also have what you don't see coming is an offer coming. And there might be some kind of fights or arguments over this. But this person might be coming in saying, okay, I'm going to trust that this is going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen because I have a blindfold. I can't see what's happening here. Is what was happening with the blindfold. So, um, it's clouded vision. It's, um, someone might be trusting their gut over their thoughts. Their third eye could be blocked and unable to see the truth. But they're still trying to trust their intuition to come forward here with this. And then we have that bench is rest, judgment, contemplation, decision making. Um, someone might be just taking a time out to rest, to relax, um, and really just trying to plan something, trying to assess something of what they should do. That could be happening. Okay, guys. Let's see if that makes sense to you or not. Take it if it resonates. Leave it doesn't. Let's see um, what signs you could be dealing with. What signs do we have here for Aries? We have Libra. Aries. Scorpio. Oh, I got to put some charm and the and the Queen of Wands since it's done. Okay, Aquarius, Leo, and the bottom deck we have Leo again. Okay, so placement your chart, placement other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Libra, Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Leo. Now we have this Queen of Wands that popped up over here. So um, this is it could definitely be your sign, Aries. Um, Leo Sagittarius, someone that gets a lot of attention or someone is getting attention, someone's very attractive, someone's a way show or go-getter, um, that could be you or it could be the person you're dealing with, let's see here, there's a charm on this, this has something to do with work, and there might be some kind of change taking place, now we'll do the words on this, and we have love, options, 
never okay maybe someone I it almost feels like you could take these words and and see how they what you felt when I said those words you know what was your message that you got from the angels and your guys but I feel like someone might be in love with someone and they'll say options never I just want that one person and so someone might be really wanting to be with you or vice versa and it's like the other person doesn't feel the same so all right guys um take it this is a general reading take it if it resonates leave it doesn't if you just checked out your sun then check out your moon your rising your venus sign something might resonate with you more it might give you that missing piece that missing link the part of the puzzle makes everything click together thank you so much for all your love and support i truly appreciate you guys i love you so much thank you for your likes your shares subscribes your comments and i hope to see you all again real soon thank you